Hi everyone, let's see who has joined in. Hi everyone, I um, as usual, I promise you all that I'm going to start with, hold on huh? Yes, hi. Um, thank you for tuning in again at 12 noon every day. That's the time I cook for my family. That's the time I cook for my children because they, have, they are coming down uh, from upstairs at 1 o'clock to have their lunch break. So I will cook at 12 and we will meet here every day at 12. Not every day. I haven't come up with what to cook tomorrow. Hi, Shirlene from Hong Kong. Um, I have been thinking what to cook um, later on I will share with you um, the list of ingredients to prepare and that I will cook tomorrow okay um, yes today as promised I'll be making a recipe from my volume 3 cookbook okay can you see okay I'll be making a recipe from this cookbook we will be making something very very simple this recipe okay I'll be making this recipe so let's take a look at what we need to do now. All right, as usual, the first step requires you to um, blanch some noodles. Today, I'm going to use mihun or rice vermicelli. All right, this one I have soaked in hot boiling water for about a few minutes and then drain. And there you have it. Okay, this is bihun or you can call it rice vermicelli. So let's start. Uh, Start making the soup because all we have to do today is to boil a soup and serve with the mihun. So don't complain if you say, I don't know what to cook, uh, I am not good in cooking, I'm not this, I'm not that. But with Thermomix and my recipe, you do not have any problem um, making a nutritious meal for your family. All right. So let's take a look. Um, for those of you who just joined in, I'm making a recipe from Volume 3 Cookbook. We will be making this simple recipe of boiling a pork rib soup to serve with our mihun. Alright, so let's take a look. I have 1000 gram of water here. Just water. Nothing. Now, I will add in um, pork ribs. We need 600 gram. Pork ribs. Alright, um, I think today we have more than 600 grams. So this is two packets that I bought. And we will add in three cloves of garlic. Three cloves of garlic. Alright, let's put in the pork ribs first. Okay, um, basically we put in everything. What is the everything? 1000 gram of water, 600 gram of um, pork ribs, one star anise, three cloves garlic. This is Shaoxing rice wine, the Chinese wine, one tablespoon. This is four tablespoon of light soy sauce, four tablespoon. This is one tablespoon of ginger juice. Now how you get this ginger juice, you pound the ginger with a pestle and mortar and squeeze out the juice. Okay, there's, not, there's no ready-made, uh, I've never seen ready-made ginger juice in the supermarket. So what you do, you pound a knob of ginger and squeeze out the juice, alright, using a pestle and mortar. So this is one tablespoon. And uh, we need one and a half of tablespoon of uh, this is oyster sauce. Okay, and lastly, we need half a tablespoon of this thick caramel sauce. This is for the coloring. Half a tablespoon. 
Okay, this is half a tablespoon. So how long do we boil this? We boil this for 30 minutes at 100 degrees Celsius. Reverse spoon speed. Okay, so that's all the cooking that you need to do today. Alright, so for those of you who just joined in, I'm making a recipe from Volume 3 Cookbook. Okay, the first recipe from this cookbook. We are making a pork rib soup vermicelli. Okay, so for those of you who do not have a thermal mix, order now. Order one now from your preferred advisor. Okay. And uh, at the moment, while waiting for your Thermomix to arrive, you can still cook with my cookbooks because every cookbook will have a conventional cooking section for those of you who do not have a Thermomix yet. Now, I'm counting on you to order your Thermomix now. This is the best time for you to um, order your Thermomix. Yeah, okay, so let's talk a bit about uh, while well, this is uh, cooking for 30 minutes. Angeline, my good friend, she always say you repeated your steps and recipes seven times. Yeah, because different people join at different times. And today is an extremely easy recipe for you to make. There's no reason you cannot make this, okay? There's no reason. Don't give yourself reason that you cannot cook. What we did is we just soak this vermicelli. This is about 300 grams, depends how many you are serving. This soup is enough for 4 to 5 packs. I just soak this in hot boiling water for about few minutes, 3 to 4 minutes, and then I drain it off and you get beautiful mihun. Okay, this is rice vermicelli. What else did I did? What else did I prepare? I prepare some fried shallots as garnish later. And for those of you who just joined, what have I been doing here in my Thermomix? I have put in 1,000 gram of water, 600 gram of pork ribs, uh, 3 cloves of garlic, 1 star anise and seasonings. All boiling here for 30 minutes, 100 degrees Celsius reverse spoon speed. What are the seasonings that I'm using today? I use a 1 and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of... Um, Shaoxing rice wine, one tablespoon of ginger juice. How you get the ginger juice? You take a knob of ginger, you pound it with pestle mortar and you squeeze out the juice. One tablespoon of ginger juice. Four tablespoons of light soy sauce and half a tablespoon of the thick dark caramel dark soy sauce. Okay, I repeated the recipes. Today we are cooking with a recipe from my volume 3 cookbook. The first recipe which is this recipe just to boil a soup to serve with our mihun and don't look down on this soup it is very very flavorful okay many of you have made before and give good thumbs up for the recipe and for those of you who do not have a thermal mix yet order your thermal mix now or you can still cook with my conventional cooking uh, from my cookbooks okay there are steps for conventional cooking for all my cookbooks all right, I have a total of five cookbooks. Let me show you what are they. This is volume one. We have cooked two recipes from this cookbook so far, which is um, the homemade chicken nuggets and the braised chicken with potatoes. Okay, this is volume two. We have uh, co um, uh, mashed potatoes following the recipe here. And Ada Nye from Bintulu, she has do a live uh, cooking chicken pie from this recipe book as well okay this is volume 3 this is volume 3 this is volume 4 and this is volume 5 the latest volume everyone asks are the recipes repeated in any of the cookbooks the answer is no no recipes are repeated in any of the cookbooks okay and uh, it comes with steps you always like to ask it comes with steps for thermomix tm6 the latest uh, model thermomix tm5 thermomix tm31 and also for non-thermomix users you can follow my cookbooks 
uh, using the conventional cooking recipes here okay so where to purchase the cookbooks you can buy it from my website www.elliesaviorkitchen.com okay you can follow me on facebook join my group or follow me on instagram and youtube now you are very very observant you make so much comments about how i look okay so today to please uh, some of you who say i have very pale face no i'm not wearing any makeup but uh, i put on lipstick today okay only put on lipstick today because you say i don't look good I don't look good, I look very pale if I don't use any lipstick, okay? So today I put on lipstick so that you all can see a more fresher look of any saviour, okay? <laughs> Must do the honey BBQ pork in volume 1. You mean the char siu, is it? Char siu is very easy. Char siu is very easy. You just marinate the pork cook inside here for 20 minutes take it out and uh, bake in the bake in your oven at high temperature to caramelize the, the 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 top now when you are baking you have to keep on glazing with the sauce glazing your meat with the sauce and then it will give you a sparkly uh, caramelized look to your char siu okay there's no special trick to it the marinade only takes five easy ingredients that you have in your pantry. Okay, I always cook with um things that I have in my pantry. I don't require you to go here and there, um, scrambling for for very very uh, special ingredients. Okay, um, some of you ask, very very observant. Okay, why everything you show here is uh, upside down? Well, because I'm using a mirror image to record myself while talking to you. And then they say, um, how come this one is not upside down? Okay, because this one I do it myself. And then I flip it mirror image before I print it out. Okay, so that's why this one, my website on where to purchase my cookbooks, is just a mirror image. It's not upside down. You can see it very clearly. Okay. Alright, so now while this soup is boiling, let's talk about uh you can you can ask me questions, I can answer. Uh we can also talk about what I plan to cook um tomorrow. I plan to cook a recipe from volume three as well. I plan to make this. Okay, I plan to make this. This is lopako, traditional radish cake. You normally find this in a dim sum shop. So I'm going to make this tomorrow. All right. Uh, I have actually made a batch to show you how I pan fry tomorrow. So hang on, I take up for you to see. The one that I made this morning so tomorrow I will keep this in the fridge because uh, Lobako always um, is recommended for you to make one day in advance and chill in the fridge then only you take it up the next morning and slice it it will give you a very clean slice if you want to slice this now it will it will be rather sticky so normally I will make it one day ahead all right I will make it one day ahead so tomorrow I will show you how to make this you will see how it steam, but you will not see the whole process of steaming because it takes about an hour to finish steaming. But I will show you how I pan fry it, okay, tomorrow. So I will give you the recipe, uh, the ingredients on what to prepare if you want to cook along later on, alright? Um, yeah. Some of you ask me, uh, please mention my name, please mention my name. That uh, Tell everyone that I'm also selling the Thermomix, that I'm also a, a Thermomix advisor. Okay, now is the time to mention names. So if you are in Singapore and if you wish to purchase the TM6, contact Christy Chang and her team. 
All right, there are many team members in her team. Um, there are many team. Okay, let's name them. All right, I'll try to remember. Uh, in Team Sunshine, Christy Chang's team. Uh, there is Mavis, um, Jenny, Helen, Wendy, Serena, Amy, Jackie, Jojo, and Jolene. All right. If you want to order your Thermomix now, just contact them. Contact Christy, contact any one of the members that I've just mentioned. Now for KL, my BFF Angeline Stanley, who could be watching now, she asked me to mention her name as well. So if you want to um, purchase a Thermomix, Yes, the company still delivers to Korea the, the machine to you. All you need to do is place your order with your preferred um, Thermomix advisor. Okay, in KL, you can contact Chloe Ong, you can contact Angeline Stanley, all right? You can contact Susan Fu, F O O, you can find her in Facebook. You can contact Annie Ang, okay? They are all my friends, all right? They are selling the Thermomix as well, so you can contact them. Now, for Pintulu, someone asked me to mention her name. You can contact um, Ada, Ada Nge. I think she's watching now. I think she's watching uh, my live now. So, you can contact her if you are in... Pintulu is in Sarawak, right? Yeah, if you are in Sarawak and if you wish to purchase a Thermomix, contact Ada Nge, alright? And if you are in Kota Kinabalu, you can contact my friend Sandy, okay? So, um... This is the time that we mention names. So, <laughs> everyone asked me to mention about their name on, a, you know, that they are still selling their advisor. So, um, I've seen so many people join in to watch me today. So, um, for those of you who just joined in, today I'm cooking a recipe from Volume 3 Cookbook. It's the first recipe from this book. We are making this. Okay, a simple pork rib soup vermicelli. Now, what I have done this morning is I soak this bihun, I think about 300 gram here, depending on how many packs we are feeding. This soup can fit about 5 packs. Okay, I, I soak this 300 gram in um, hot water, hot boiling water for 3 to 4 minutes and then I drain it off. Alright? Okay. Yes, all my cookbooks are available in two languages, English and Chinese. Okay, now I, uh, I, I speak English, so definitely my cookbooks will be in English, alright? It's pretty obvious. So what I'm boiling here, for those of you who just joined in, um, I'm boiling the pork rib soup, which is um, 1,000 gram of water, um, 600 gram of pork ribs, uh, 3 cloves garlic, one star anise and the seasonings that I put together is one tablespoon of ginger juice how you get ginger juice you pound a knob of ginger and you squeeze out the juice you pound the ginger with um, pestle and mortar and you squeeze out the juice we only need one tablespoon here and then we put in one tablespoon of Shaoxing rice wine four tablespoon of light soy sauce uh, one and a half tablespoon of oyster sauce and half a tablespoon of the Take caramel dark soy sauce. Okay, that's all we are doing. And I've prepared um, some shallot oil, fried shallots. So tomorrow we will be making lobako, uh, radish cake. Okay, tomorrow we will be making this, a recipe from this cookbook. Now, many of you ask me um, about the pan that I used, okay? So, um, there are many other things that my friend uh, brought in from Whitercraft to sell, okay? So, this pan is the pan that I used yesterday, the handsome pan. Oops! The handsome pan. This is the non-stick pan that I used yesterday, okay? It doesn't come with a lid. Because the lid is sell separately, all right. Now these are Japan products. Some of you also ask me about um, the stainless steel range. So I have here the stainless steel range. This is a twenty-two cm pot. 
I can open it up and show you because this is mine. Okay, this is the pot. Comes with the lid. The entire pot is stainless steel. So what I normally do is I brace here. Okay, either over the fire on the stove or the whole thing dump into the oven and let it slow cook. Okay, this is a fully stainless steel 22 cm pot. It comes with a not comes it we also have a 22 cm steamer basket. I can open it up and show you. Oopsie. Okay. This is a steamer basket. You can stack up and steam. Alright. So um there are many things. Uh, I will give you the link to the post later on. Okay, we also have this um, Gohan pot. If you know Japanese, Gohan means a rice. Okay, um, Gohan means rice. Is I think I have. I think I have. Okay, this is the rice pot. You can use it to cook rice. Okay, this is the rice pot. And uh, whatever that I posted in Facebook, you can. Uh, I have it. They they have a wok as well. Okay, they have a wok as well. Two come in two sizes: one smaller and one bigger. All right. Uh, I don't want to. Okay. This is also a stainless steel pan. Now, some of you ask me, what's the difference between um, non-stick pan or, or stainless steel pan? What to get? Um, if you are not very confident in pan frying things, then you always fear that there is a fear that uh, things will stick onto your pan. Please get a non-stick. Okay? Please get a good non-stick. Now, it... it Many of you say it don't last. Yes, non-stick don't last. But Whitercraft non-stick has the best coating in the world. Okay, but and and like I want to say is um, all non-stick you need to take care. You after using it, you don't immediately wash it. Let it cool down first. Okay, let it cool down first. Then only you wash it. Okay. Now stainless steel is uh, you have to know how to use a stainless steel pan. All stainless steel pan lasts forever. But you need to properly heat it up before you put in your protein to fry. Okay, otherwise, yes, it will stick. Okay, there is a... Uh, because you don't know how to use, that's why it sticks. So, <laughs> so stainless, you must know how to use a, a, a stainless steel pan. Alright? So, um, okay, time to mention names again. Since I don't know what else to talk to you. Okay, if you are in Australia and if you are Melbourne... And if you wish to purchase the Thermomix, please order your Thermomix now from Christina Chiu. Okay, she's my friend. Um, Lisa, uh, I forgot her surname. Um, Amanda Cook, okay, she's the team leader. Today I joined her face, uh, no, I joined her Zoom meeting. Okay, I joined her Zoom meeting this morning because there's two hours of time difference. So I joined her Zoom meeting this morning. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you are in, if you are in Melbourne, and if you wish to get a thermomix, get in touch with my good friend Christina Chu. And if you are in Perth, you want to order the thermomix, get in touch with my good friend Melissa Go. All right. In her team, you. Uh, in her team, there is Aline, uh, Alex Lee, Agnes Chin. All right. So this, these are the people that you can contact when you are in 
Perth and if you wish to order your Thermomix. Now if you are in Singapore, contact Christy Chang and team. Okay, who are in her team? Mavis, Jojo, Jolene, Amy, Wendy, Helen, Jenny, Serena, Amy, Jackie. Okay, if you are in Bintulu, order your Thermomix via Ada Nye. Okay, I hope she's watching now. So what for those of you who just joined in, what am I cooking today? I'm cooking a recipe from my volume 3 cookbook. Okay, it's the first recipe from this book. We are boiling soup. Okay, we are boiling soup. Do you have a UK friend to order from any? Alright. Uh, now everyone wants to know if I do post, how do I post to overseas? Overseas is uh the postage definitely will cost you more. So um do PM me if you want to know more on uh, how do I post the books out. Okay, locally no issue. Okay, locally no issue. So if you do not have a thermomix and if you still wish to cope with my recipes, you can still get my cookbooks because each cookbook comes with a conventional cooking section. Alright, there's no problem and you shouldn't say you don't know how to cook, you don't know what to cook, you are always not good in cooking but with the right recipes, I'm sure you can put on great food on the table for your family. Okay, so um, this is volume 3. So this is volume 5, this is the latest book, this is volume 4, this is volume 2, and this is volume 1, okay? No recipes are repeated in any of the cookbooks, and all cookbooks comes with complete steps for Thermomix TM6, the latest model, Thermomix TM5, Thermomix TM31, and even have a separate section for conventional users okay for those of you who do not have a thermomix you can still purchase my books because there is a separate section for conventional cooking okay and where do you purchase the cookbooks you purchase from my website www.anysaviorkitchen.com okay follow me on youtube and instagram as well okay so do you notice I look a bit different today? Very hot. Do you notice I look very different today? Not very lah. I just put on lipstick because some of you say I look very very pale. I don't look good. <laughs> so I put on, so I put on lipstick today so that I don't look so pale. And I uh I wear a different top. I wear a flower top. I hope you you will think that I look better today. Okay, but everyone is stuck at home. What do you expect? Okay. <laughs> And I'm cooking in a hot kitchen. So, yeah. Anything you want to ask me, you can ask me. For those of you who are still thinking whether to get a Thermomix, don't think anymore. Things are not going to reduce the price. Things are not going to get cheaper. Things will only get more expensive. So why wait? Order now. Alright, order now. If you are in KL, you can order from my good friend Angeline Stanley. She's probably watching the live now. Okay, she is uh she also uh, successfully made um the uh, noodle soup yesterday, the home taste lummy for my volume two yesterday. And her family likes it. Okay, so um she married to a German. So if her family likes it, means it is very good because they don't normally eat um, Asian food. So please make, please make the recipe that I cooked yesterday. If you do not know, uh, you can always watch the live yesterday. You can watch it back yesterday. Okay, who cooks having makeup on daily? <laughs> Hi, Amy. Let me show you the noodles. Okay, so this is the recipe that we made yesterday uh, in, in here, live cooking. That's the recipe that I made yesterday and uh, it's a very good recipe. Okay, I did this recipe when I was in Melbourne the first time for my cooking class. And I did it um, also in Singapore, my first cooking class in Singapore. So uh, yeah, hi Liz. Liz is my kitchen consultant, yeah. 
because um, I'm supposed to move into a bigger place. So she is actually my kitchen consultant. And because of the lockdown, I couldn't move into the new kitchen. I would ov I, obviously I would like to show you a bigger kitchen, a more comfortable kitchen, and I would like to do live there one day. Okay, um, let's pray that this virus thing will be over and I can move to my new house soon. Okay, so hi Christina, you are always very supportive. You always show me good support from Melbourne and we always chat. So um, I, I just want to share with you um, how Thermomix has changed my life. I got Thermomix six years ago. It's actually a Mother's Day present from my husband. And uh, ever since I get Thermomix, my life is more, uh, more complete, I would say. I used to um, cook very simple meals, but after having Thermomix and it's such a wonderful toy, I take it as a toy, um, I never stop cooking, I never stop creating. Yeah, I never stop cooking, I never stop creating, I never stop uh, adventuring into different, different cuisine, cooking different, different things. All right, so um, it's a wonderful machine. I am happy that I've got all three generations. I have TM31, I have TM5, I have TM6. This is the latest model. Order your model now. Order your, order your Thermomix now. So six years ago, I started using the Thermomix and look at me. I have five, I published five cookbooks from, from having my Thermomix as a toy to seriously um, cooking and creating recipes yeah so um, until I have five cookbooks so it's a wonderful machine okay especially I love it especially uh, when I want to make a quick porridge you know porridge um, I always like smooth porridge okay I always like smooth porridge those that you can uh, eat in dim sum shop is very smooth it, it is without any rice grain we call it Hong Kong Chong Yi Kongi, I don't know how to pronounce. Anyway, porridge. So with Thermomix, 15 minutes you get very smooth porridge. Why? Because I can blend it here. I can cook here, I can blend here. Alright? So this is uh, one of the great features that I like about Thermomix. And I also like the kneading function. I also like the kneading function. It can help you to knead a dough in 2-3 to three minutes. Easy, right? Fast, right? So with this Thermomix TM6, many ask you, ask me, what is the difference between TM6 and TM5? There's a huge difference. Okay, there are a lot of features here, like um, like the kettle mode. I like to use the kettle mode. I remember when I first started the the um, when I first started the live. Some of you asked me how long to bring water to a boy. Okay, okay. If you are using the TM5 or TM31, probably for one liter of water, you need seven to eight minutes to boil to, to bring the water to a boil. But with the Thermomix TM6, you have the kettle function. So you pour your water inside the TM bowl, you choose the kettle function. Okay, and it will it will boil by itself. You wouldn't know how long it takes to, to reach the boiling point. But once you choose the kettle function, the water will boil by itself in perhaps six minutes, seven minutes, eight minutes. This machine is smart. They will know once it reaches the temperature that you want, the boiling point, which is 100 degrees Celsius, it will automatically stop. Okay, but you cannot have this function in the TM5 or the TM31. Okay, you cannot. And uh, this one has, you, you will have, um, you will have, when you purchase the Thermomix TM6, you will have free six years of subscription to Cookie Do. Okay, six months. And uh, what is so great about Cookie Do? It can help you to organize your shopping list. Uh, it will help you trace back what you have cooked before. Uh, you can add your favorite recipes. There's so many functions that you can get from the Cookie Do. Uh, not to mention that you have access to more than 50,000 recipes online. Okay, that's the Cookie Do function. Okay, if you want to know more about what the TM6 uh, can do that is different from the TM5, Call your agent now. Call your preferred advisor now, and uh, uh, I think you cannot uh, have demo now. But uh, place your order and let the machine deliver, and then you guys can zoom and learn together how to use the thermomix. Okay, there's always um, now everything is online already due to the situation. 
we are not allowed to travel out. So um, order your Thermomix now and uh, let a good advisor guide you over Zoom or, or, or any other way to, to teach you how to do unboxing and uh, start using the machine, okay? If there is a will, there is always a way. So don't, uh, I'm someone who will, who, who won't always find excuses say cannot this cannot that there's always a can if you want it you will find a way to do it okay so order your thermomix now if uh, you are so keen to start cooking with this machine order yours now if you are in melbourne you can contact my good friend christina chu and amanda cook and if you are in uh, if you are in perth you can contact melissa go and her team uh, like Agnes Chin, um, like Agnes Chin, Aline Xiao and Alex Lee. Okay, if you are in Singapore, you can contact my good friend Christy Chang. She has a big team who can assist you. And in fact, they have organized a seven days uh, live cooking to uh, every day at eleven a.m. I think. Yeah. So after watching, wow, endless life, endless life now. So after watching Christy, watch me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so the soup is done. This is the soup. Okay. Now, the last step is to add in... The last step is to add in tofu puffs. I just add in the packet. Okay, just add in. And uh, let it boil for two minutes. Okay. Let me take the recipe. Yeah, I remember is you have to boil it for two minutes. For those of you who just joined in, we are making a recipe from this cookbook. Okay. This recipe, we are making this. We are at the last step already. Two minutes. Yeah, basically we are done with the recipe. Okay, so when this is done, we will serve the noodles. Let me grab the, the prepared plate and I'll show you, okay? I'll come back in a second. Later on, we will serve this. Uh, yeah, pour the soup inside and then we will serve it. Okay, so. Okay, I cannot read. Tomorrow, as I promised, we will be making a recipe from this cookbook. From this cookbook, we will be making lopako. So do tune in again, sharp 12 noon. Okay, always tune in on time to catch me live. Tomorrow, we will be making lopako. Okay, a recipe from this cookbook. Now, one last time, if you wish to purchase my cookbooks, you can go to my website, www.anysaviorkitchen.com. Okay, I'll, I, will update the, uh, I will update the ingredients to prepare. Obviously, you need white radish. Okay, so you need this. To make lopako, you need this white radish. Yeah, uh, my
my friend who is a very beautiful Caucasian lady named Lisa in Melbourne. Uh, she was one of my volunteers for my cooking class when I was in Melbourne. She made this lobako beautifully all by herself, okay, with no help. If she can do it, you can do it. So catch me live tomorrow on how to make this. So I will serve this. Take a bit of the pork ribs out. Okay, and we are done. Okay, we are done. Thank you everyone for watching. Now, um, I hope you will enjoy this uh, recipe. I hope you will make this easy recipe for your family to try. It is really very good. The leftover soup, what I normally do is, I will use it to make pakute. Okay, I will, make, I will use the leftover soup and make bakute and it your bakute soup will be more flavorful tomorrow the next day okay don't throw away the leftover soup so this is what i cook today okay i hope you enjoy i'm going to say goodbye to you now and uh see you again tomorrow bye bye